One of the cars I got in the shop this week was a 67 coupe. A uh, little 289 car, real nice original little thing, but he had a camshaft put in this thing, I don't know, a couple thousand miles ago is what he was telling me. And the symptoms was that the thing was ticking and kind of knocking a little bit and backfired, doing all sorts of goofy stuff. So I said to him, I said, why don't you just bring it back to the place that did it? Well, they went out of business, the economy killed them, so that's been happening. So we took the valve covers off, took the intake manifold off, and what we found was, for whatever reason, whether the break-in um, procedure these guys did with the cam went wrong, or he ran it low on oil, or there was some sort of contaminant, uh, he ended up burning up camshaft lobes on this thing. And uh, what's happened here is, if you look at these cam lobes here, there's high spots in them, and there's low spots in them by design. And as the cam turns, it, it pushes on a lifter, which pushes on a push rod, which in the end opens up a valve. And these things are literally metal to metal when they're uh, going back and forth on here. Um, there is a film of oil that's supposed to be on here, and that's what keeps them from chewing into one another. But what's happened here is, if you look at these two lobes here, they're nice and high and they're smooth. But this one here, it looks like it's almost been almost hammered on with a hammer. And that comes from the lack of oil or some sort of contaminant in the oil that has uh, got between the lifter and between the cam lobe. It's actually rubbed it off. So this has been metal to metal, just grinding on one another as this cam was moving in the car. Uh, so we've had to replace this camshaft and the lifter assembly in this thing. There's a number of reasons why this could have happened. Maybe the guy ran it low on oil. Maybe there was some sort of contaminant in it in the way of antifreeze or water. Or there's a controversy about the zinc additive that's been taken out of oil in recent years that could contribute to something like this. Now that's a lesson to be learned when you're putting in a camshaft. There's a whole break-in procedure. What you've got to do is make sure that you read the instructions on anything you get, and especially with a camshaft. You know, these guys have a big research and development department. They know what they're talking about with what they're doing. So if they're writing something in the instruction, make sure you do it, and you might not run into this kind of problem here. There's a few other additives out there that will put zinc in your oil. That's probably not a bad thing to consider doing too. We do it here at the shop at Mustang Restorations and it might be something for you to consider doing at home.